Hey everyone, it's the Metal Collector. Welcome back to another video. So today on this today's video, we are reviewing a 6195M. Um, so you can see it is a John Deere, and you might be thinking, why did you get a John Deere? Well, it looked cool. It looked good, and I really wanted to get one of these. I want to get a really expensive one of these, but this is only a start. I really love these tractors because they have the older 6930, um, 6000 series John Deere cabs. Um, so it, it's very good to have one of these. The very disappointing is is that this here, the three point linkage, not as good, and the PTO is down there instead of it being up here. So it, it needs a little bit, you know, it's not as good as I expected, but it would do anyway. Um, she's on the Fleming Tanker at the moment. Um, she looks good. Looks like she's uh, very good on her. Um, she's mostly, you can say, plastic type thing, um, as usual. Um, but I'm thinking of starting to get you on the attractors now. Um, this will be in a new episode. I am starting back the model contractors and. Just to do a, a spoiler, this year will be on demo, so she'll be doing slurry and uh, you know mostly um, mowing work. Um, so she's gonna go on to the mower, and then she'll be back on the tanker again. She's on the Fleming, but it's meant to be a two thousand gallon tanker, but it's twenty five thousand. Um, so she's on on the twenty five thousand gallon uh, Fleming tanker, and she will be on a new video. So I know that the Beacons my my review is that the Beacons isn't as good as Universal, um, but the exhaust is nice and chunky. It's I uh, it's better than than Zicky's sixty nine twenty. Uh, as I must as I will admit, it's better. Um, because it has, you know, at least it has a, a three point linkage at the front. But I'm thinking of getting a, uh, a drop nose, but it still has the same thing as this here. But as a as a steep nose, um, John Deere. So, yeah. Um, what do you think in the comments below? Should I get more John Deere's? Should I explore going to John Deere's and getting them? I've got two older. I've got a couple of older John Deere tractors, very older ones with two wheel drive and four two wheel drive. Two of the four wheel drive and one uh, two wheel drive. Um, so this is my third four wheel drive tractor. Um, so what do you think, guys? Should I get a another John Deere uh, from like Universal or whoever they do them? Because I really want to get into John Deere. It's a good little tractor. It has the old Britain's hitch, but in tiny, it's fantastic. Um, she reminds me of the six nine twenty Zuki. But she's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I, I might. This is only the start of it. Um, so, on the Molo contractor, she'd be on the, the tanker and she'd be doing mowing work. Uh, while the other lads are going to do a bit of the, on the T7s. Um, yeah, this probably might be replacing one of the tractors, another tractor. An older T a, a, a TM. She's gonna replace the TM, and she's gonna go on to doing uh, what the TM was doing. Um, so yes, uh, that's all, guys. I just wanna say thank you very much. Um, I did get a new model today, um, but yeah. Um, what do you think? Should I get a, another John Deere tractors? Um, just sit in the comments below. And I will, um, I will try to get more. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. It'd be um, helpful. And we're growing. Our channel's growing, and I'm very grateful for everyone that I've stuck by and we did it. So, um, so we have a John Deere on the farm, which is good. Um, so tell me guys what you think of this tractor, uh, of this model. I, a little bit disappointing with the three-point language, but and the beacons as well. 
at the end of the day, at least it has glass on the doors. Um, so tell me what you think, guys, in the comments below, and I will read them. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.